In this video, we'll be deriving an efficient way of determining whether or not some point P lies within the triangle ABC. Pay attention to this diagram as I move point P around. As you can see, the blue line represents a vector pointing from A to B, while the red line is a vector pointing from A to C. Together, they describe the position of point P relative to point A. Perhaps this is a little clearer if I show the red vector starting from the end of the blue vector. Now, the length of the blue vector is controlled by a weight variable called w1, and the length of the red vector is controlled by w2. When both of these values are zero, that means that point P is at A. If I move point P over to B, then you'll see that W1 is equal to 1, and W2 is equal to 0. If I move P over to point C, this will of course be the other way around. Okay, so this is an interesting way of describing the position of point P, but how does it help us with our task? Well, notice that if I move the point out past the edge AC, then W1 becomes negative. If I move the point out the other side, then W2 becomes negative. And if I move the point out past edge BC, then W1 plus W2 will add up to be greater than 1. So, if we can figure out the values for W1 and W2, we have a very easy way of determining whether or not P is inside the triangle. Let's write an equation for the coordinates of point P. So we can say P is equal to A plus W1 multiplied by B minus A, plus w2 multiplied by c minus a. So this is just a mathematical representation of what we saw in the diagram. I'm now going to write this equation out again twice, once for the x-axis and once for the y-axis. I'll then rearrange the second equation to get w2 isolated on the left. We can then easily take this expression for w2 and substitute it into the first equation to get a new equation with only one unknown, w1. Our task now is to isolate w1 on the left side of this equation. This should be fairly straightforward algebra, although of course having this many variables it is quite easy to make a mistake, so let's work through this methodically. I'll first get rid of this fraction by multiplying everything by cy minus ay. I've also multiplied these terms inside the brackets by cx minus ax, as you can see over here. I'll then transfer the terms involving w1 over onto the left-hand side, and take this px term and put that on the right-hand side. We can then reduce these two w1 variables to just a single w1 variable by enclosing all of this here in brackets. To complete our task of isolating w1, we can now just divide through by this bit highlighted in red. We can now of course substitute this expression for w1 into our equation for w2 to be able to find the value of w2 as well. With these two equations, we can now say that point P is inside the triangle if w1 is greater than or equal to 0, and w2 is also greater than or equal to 0, and w1 plus w2 is less than or equal to 1. Alright, that is everything for this video. Cheers!